In Chapter 8, you learned about my general rule for PowerShell, format right, meaning any formatting commands should come on the rightmost side of the command line with only a couple of exceptions. The corollary to that is when you start to filter things. I like to say that you filter left. In other words, your filtering criteria should go as far to the left of the command line as possible. Let's take an example. I'm going to get a bunch of services. I'm going to sort them by name. And then I'm only going to keep the ones where the status is equal to running. This is not a very well-constructed command line. My filtering is here. In other words, the command that's going to remove some of the objects is not as far left as it could possibly go. This will still work. And because I'm dealing with a relatively small number of objects, it's not a huge performance hit. But think about it. I had to retrieve all of those services, even the ones I don't really want to look at. I then had to put them all in order by name, even the ones that I don't want to look at. And then I'm running through and actually deleting some of them from that list so that I'm only getting the ones I wanted. It would be better to rewrite this perhaps as this. We'll put the where a little bit closer to the left of the command line. So we get the same end results, but we're saving a little bit of workload there. We're not sorting things by name until we've already gotten rid of the ones that we don't want. Now what you have to ask yourself is, is there a way to get the filtering even further to the left of the command line? In other words, does get service itself have the capability of doing this particular set of filtering for us? Well, let's take a look. Help get dash service. Get-Service does not appear to have a dash filter parameter. Uh, it does have a name parameter, and if we were to look at the help, we'd see that the name does accept wildcards, but I'm not filtering on name, I'm filtering on status. And so with this command, I have probably moved my filtering as far to the left of the command line as I possibly can. Let's take a look at a different example, though. Let's say I was getting service, and I only want to keep the ones where the name is like PowerShell. Oh, didn't get any. So I don't have any services named PowerShell. Um, that's proving that the filtering is working. Now let's go with something easier. Let's only get the ones that have, uh, let's say, a C at the beginning of their name. OK, so I do have a few of those. Now, am I getting the filtering as far to the left of the command line as possible? Probably not. I could have just said get service dash name C star and then get service is only producing the services that I want to look at. See with this first command I'm producing all of the services and then I have to run through them and compare each one to that criteria. That does take a little bit of work. With this command I'm only getting the ones that I wanted to see in the first place. I don't need to run through them one at a time and filter them. So in addition to formatting on the right, try to move your filtering as far to the left as possible, and you'll save PowerShell and yourself as much work as you can. <laughs>